How's it going everybody? I am back with yet another short and to the point guitar and chords tutorial. Today it's Jets Brazil with Morning New Disease. Continuing where we left off with yesterday's tutorial, this is the second track on Orange Rhyming Dictionary. It's a little confusing um, arrangement wise, so I think I'll just show you the, the licks and the riffs and then I'll explain kind of, you know, the order of everything because it's, it's definitely weird. So you got this really dissonant intro riff. So it's the ninth fret of the B string into the fifth fret of the um, the high E string. And while that's going on, you'll hear Jeremy play in the background. You know, a little cool little bass line. And then it's gonna kick into the main riff after a while, so. So that's the verse every time. Um, you're just doing a D power chord into an E power chord. And then when you go into the pre-chorus, we'll call this the pre-chorus. C major 7, 3, 5, 5, open, open from the A string down to this D. I, I forgot the name of this uh, specific D chord, but it's 5, 7, 7, open, open. And then just play an E major at the 7th fret. And then um, you're going to do that twice. Whoops. to verse 2 into that pre-chorus again so I don't know what to call this the chorus I guess D A rest of the chorus E B minor A E then B minor again to A and then E D A E then B power chord intro again with that verse riff in, uh, behind it, you know. So then you're in verse three, uh, you know, same riff. pre-chorus right into verse 4 it's a little variety there into the pre-chorus again do that you're gonna hit that e power chord twice and then uh the band kind of cuts out and it's just blake and the guitar and it's it's just e to b but not b minor this time just a b power chord to an a power chord to an e and the band comes back in on the b power chord to a So then we're in the outro, which is the intro again. It just basically ends with that. 
Um, so you're gonna do this, you know, the tense riff again. So you're gonna do two rounds of, of, of uh, the rhythm guitar underneath it, and it's gonna do this cool little uh, E7 arpeggio. So it's just gonna go. So all this is, is the 7th fret A string, to 6 on D, to 7 on G, 9 on B, 10 on B, back to 9, and then work your way down. Love that. And then, and then it's going to do the riff again. That's it. Um, again, as I mentioned in the last video, this is my all-time favorite band. All-time favorite band. This is my the second tattoo I ever got. Uh, is not on this arm. Why the hell am I doing that? I'm looking at the <laughs> I'm looking at the mirror image of the <laughs> of the video recording. Anyway, I got this on my left arm um, since I'm left-handed, and so is Blake Schwarzenbach. Um, anyway, yeah, eventually I'll get full sleeves cause I wanted to add so much more to my arms over the years and I just haven't, I got Calvin and Hobbes here a year after I got this JTB and yeah, good stuff. Anyway, wow, that was really stupid of me to show the, <laughs> the wrong arm. But again, I was a little confused cause I got this mirror image video. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, if you're a Just Brazil fan, you are automatically my friend. Um, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Definitely give this video a thumbs up, smash that like button, help me break through the godforsaken algorithm. Please subscribe. If you want to see more content like this, I do special requests all the time. All you got to do is leave a comment and I will upload a song for you within one or two days of receiving the comment. And, um, if you can't find tab for something, if you can't figure it out by ear, I learn all of this stuff by ear, everything. Or if I can't figure it out by ear, I'll watch a live performance of the band. Uh, that's definitely true with a lot of the emo tutorials I do. Cause sometimes they're really, really tough to figure out, um, with alter tunings and everything. So anyway, thanks so much. I hope you're having a great week and weekend. Um, uh, stay safe, stay cool, be kind always. Uh, wait, what do I usually say at the end? Stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, stay cool. Be kind always. Pay it forward. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.